Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is Wax Gaming Weekly Recap time. I know, I know, it's a few days later than normal. There's just a few videos I wanted to get out on Friday and Saturday that, that were kind of time concerning matter. So I wanted to get those out there, but didn't want to skip this this week because I know a lot of you enjoy this video uh, where we go through all the team details from this past week and next week on WAX uh, as quickly as possible just so you're up to speed in we're going to say 15 minutes or less this week. I know we beat the 10 minutes last time but just going to give us a little more time because there is some good information that I wanted to get out there. Before we really jump into the updates from this past week I do want to let you all know that you're going to start seeing some some uh, videos get pushed out here that are beginner style tutorial videos. I'm trying to spread those out so I, I don't bombard you with those but i want to get those uh, out on my channel just so i can have those available uh because one um for new people on wax because i'm i'm assuming once this bear market kind of breaks a little bit and it starts turning back into a bull market we're gonna have a lot of beginners and new people coming into the wax blockchain which is an awesome thing so what i want to do is i want to get some some tutorials out there available on youtube and also on my website uh, so you, so those new new people have those uh, the beginner tutorials that they need. So so keep that in mind. I'm trying to spread them out uh, one a day again, so I don't bombard you and not throw them all out there at one time. So it, I know most people that are watching this are, are beyond that beginner stage. So I want to throw that out there. All right, let's jump into the fun stuff. All right, first of all, first and foremost, this week coming up in two days, on July 12th is a big day for i know a lot of the people that watch my channel all those ninjas out there waxel world is going live and launching we've been waiting for this for months and i understand why they've been holding off on it they wanted to make sure that it is right and in good shape before we go live with it so we're all excited for that so if you don't have your ninjas you can either go on the secondary market and get it or you also have it uh here on you can go ahead to their website uh, Waxel World, um, and then go to that buy button that I just clicked, or it's over on Nefty. There are only, I know it sounds like a lot, but there's only 4,000 uh, ninjas available. Once these are gone, they are not putting any more ninjas out there. And the fun thing about all these is they are completely unique. Every single one of them, all 10,000 ninjas, are completely unique, which is unheard of in Wax. So once these are gone, once all the demons are, are snapped up, and if no one's selling them, you're not getting one. So go ahead out there. You only need one ninja to start the game. So keep that in mind. One ninja to play. Ten ninjas makes you the most efficient. Um, so if you have settlements, there are settlements still available. That'll make you even more efficient because you can double up to 20, 30 um, ninjas to go ahead and really start pushing here on the 12th. So super excited for that. I'll go ahead and do a a full video on that once it's released. Next, Castles. Castles also has a big event coming up here on the 12th. I just did a video on this on Friday. That's one of those that I wanted to get pushed out there. They are dropping their hero packs. And unlike most packs that are dropped now on wax, they're not selling it for straight wax. You got to do the three fragments, get each one of those, uh, one of each plus a, a royal seal for the standard pack, two of each, three two M source fragments, two wax fragments, two royal seals, and three R source for the exalted packs. This goes live at 1800, I believe it's 1800 UTC on the 12th also. So keep in mind, the actual dungeon expansion is not launching uh, for a couple more months, but they've also announced with these packs, if you're holding those, you're gonna get some of the new treasure source coins that are going to be coming out also that are going to be very important in the dungeon expansion. So grab that up here. I know I will be grabbing a few packs here shortly. Jumping back to some recent events that happened, a huge one, the Omnicoin for Taco was released. The collectors were released. They're now all live. So if you are out there, you are able to start churning and gaining the new coin. That's going to be very critical for these upcoming games. 
I don't have enough staked yet. I, I've right now been focused on another thing that I need to complete, or I should say I want to complete. Um, once that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and start staking and cranking this up so I can get the, the daily distri distribution of coins. So the collector's a relatively good price out there. I have four. The, the blending, as far as the upgrading at the time of this recording, is not live yet. So I have the components to go ahead and start upgrading these. So super excited about this. I also did a video on that, so you can check that out. I think that was about uh, about two weeks ago now. All right. Also, speaking of launches, uh, Novo Pangea is launching here also this week. Coming up, I believe it's the 11th. They are launching. I know this is much awaited for for a lot of people because the concept seems really cool. I did a video on it a while back, and I thought it was very interesting. Just I don't have the the wax to spare for it to really jump into this, but there are a lot of people that really really like this game, or at least like the concept that's going to happen. So that is going live. I'm curious to see how that goes live. So lots of things going live this coming week. So a pretty exciting time for wax. Next on the list is Farming Tales. They have been churning out these patch updates for the first product release for Farming Tales. I did another video on that also earlier, uh, I think last week at some point. Their patch number two for the product system will be coming shortly. They did mention multiple times once they resolve some of the issues that were identified here, they were going to start pushing into both patch number two of the product system, also the testing of new Wax Chester. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to get some news early this coming week about this. If it's not already posted, again, I'm recording this on Friday. So if it's not already posted, I have a feeling we're going to get some information very soon on this. And I'm super excited to see the new Waxchester. I'm hoping that, that we'll get some, some uh, visuals of that here shortly. So keep an eye out on Farming Tales. Next, Immersus. Just want to mention this, that they did their NFT staking is live. So if you have some Immersus items that you're not currently using, go ahead and stake them. You can start getting fate passively. Also keep an eye on my channel. I am trying to do streaming of Immersus. I did one on Thursday. Going to try and do more and more of this. Uh, it was nice because I, I, I mentioned this on Twitter that I was that I was jumping on a stream last minute and the Immersus team go, went ahead and jumped onto the stream and was answering questions for us. So thank you to that team, Dan from the Immersus team. Thank you for jumping on and answering some questions. Uh, I love it. Love it. Love the transparency. See how many times I can still love that one. <laughs> All right. Next on the list, we have Blockchain Brawlers. They had a number of things happen this past week. They had their leaderboard went live on Wednesday. They also had two uh, explaining articles come out around the crafting system and the the brawl sim uh, sale process that's coming up here and then next week on the 12th 12th is going to be a popular day they're going to have their 1.1 leaderboard go live and also some more details around upcoming events are coming here from the same team that brings you blockchain brawlers we also have music mogul dropped an article and I, I i know i dropped a video about this yesterday um explaining the gameplay more for music mogul uh i know there's some questions coming into last week uh, how the gameplay was going to work they did drop this this uh, article out there uh, i encourage you to go check out the video go ahead and check out the article this is on one of my this is on my list to keep an eye on uh coming up here in the next few months as far as new games that's very early that you can get in now that i think will be pretty good coming up here in the near future also on the 12th how many things can we do on the 12th or this week um also is going to be the funko drop for Hanna Barbera. this is one that i did a video on last week uh pretty neat i really like um, the Freddy Funko that's coming out with this one. Let me quick jump to that. Uh, Space Ghost. If you're a Space Ghost fan, this is pretty neat. Uh, definitely a royalty that I'm going to be go shooting for. Uh, hopefully you're all able to pick up some of the packs when they drop. As far as this past week, some of the pack drops that have happened, a mining network had a hacker pack drop. They did not sell out on it, um, which is a trend that's been happening quite a bit recently especially with the bear market. They were only able to sell a little over 1,500 of them. The nice thing that they did, and I know some people have conflicting opinions about this, they, they cut off the sale. They didn't continue to drag out the sale. So when they got to that time, that makes those that were able to buy packs, it's a little more limited, 
more value. They didn't oversaturate the market, which I, I appreciate as a player of many games. One sale that did sell out was Cosmic Clash. They did their Aquarius pack drop. It was only 100 packs, but they were pricey packs, and they sold all, out of all 100 of them. It's, part of me thinks that may be a, a theme that's going to happen here, at least over the few, next few months during this bear market, is instead of huge drops, it probably makes sense to do smaller, more frequent drops. Similar to this, the, the Aquarius drop, um, they sold out, so that's good for them. Um, and last but not least, from a pack drop perspective, uh, is uh, Desert Farm. I'm going to try and do a white paper review on this. I was very hesitant to do this when they first started talking about whitelisting and all that, um, strictly because they went through and uh, they actually got de whitelisted from Atomic Hub for making ROI. Uh, guarantees. Um, they have gone back on that now. They've gone through the process to repair that relationship with Atomic Hub, no longer guaranteeing returns, and they are now whitelisted again, which is good for them. Um, they are in the process of doing a tool drop. Um, so if you're interested in this, unfortunately, that whole saga with, with Atomic Hub, I think, did hurt their reputation a little bit, but they're trying to earn it back. Something I want to take a deeper look at as far as a white paper review. So keep an eye out for that coming up here in the near future. And then last but not least is Underworld Racing. They are doing, they had their pack drop for their different motorcycles. Um, and they are going ahead and doing the blending process now that kicked off uh, here on, when did that kick off? Uh, it was just shortly. It's actually live right now. Um, I don't have any F NFTs for it, but it is available. If you if you have any of the things that you can blend with this and you're into the game, go ahead and check it out in their Discord. Uh, you can go ahead and they have all the links there for you to jump onto. All right. I hope this was a good update for you. Uh, July 12th, very, very, very busy day on the WAX. We got Waxel World launch. We got Castles dropping the hero packs. We have Funko dropping its uh, Hanna Barbera packs. We have a few other things that are going on that date. So lots of stuff coming up here on WAX. Hope you're all excited for it. It's a good sign. Um, I think the bear market is going to continue for a little bit longer. But once that bear market releases, it starts turning back into a bull market for all crypto, I think WAX is going to explode. So I'm super excited about that. All right, I'll talk to you later and have a great rest of your weekend.